Hey boys and girls, welcome back to Nino Kuni. In the last one, we saved uh, Esther from being a closed hearted girl, opened up the testing grounds, and attempted the trials, but. <laughs> but, yeah. And we completed one of them. Now, er, the, actually, we did the test of friendship, and now we're doing the test of wits. Well met, this is the test of wits. The power of perception and reflection are the keys to solving this puzzle. These puzzles show the, me the wisdom upon which your kind prides itself, child of man. Well, we gotta use puppet stream. Okay. Dragon sees the warrior sword while the bird is showing his shield. Meanwhile, look to his right and sees an empty field. Okay. So the dog shouldn't even be there. Should be here. Sees an open field. Go on, boy, back. Show those. Boy, back. <laughs> Show those trials who's boss. I'll be cheering you every way of the step, step of the way, man. Mm. Oop, that's the wrong one. Shows the dragon's sword. Oh, okay. So the dragon's next to him. There we go. Switch had to be pressed. But yeah, that makes more sense. <laughs> also, rest in peace, my magic power. <laughs> okay. Actually, this one looks pretty easy. is placed. Right? Well, this one's gotta be... There's a line. Mm -hmm. The only place I can see that one is at. Let's 
single hole. I didn't even know that was the middle. <laughs> I thought that was part of the dark gray bit. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> I accidentally solved that one for right there. to the dragon and the moon. Moon and on a star. He sets the beast links warrior. Moon and star, yet none knows where he fits. Eh, I don't get it. The bird has to be on top of a star and the lines have to join it up with the moon and that dragon there, ain't it? Okay. So the dragon meets the bird up with a star looking at it. And he doesn't know where he fits. Dragon and moon and a on a star he sits. Okay, so he starts right up there. And know where he fits. Beast links, war, warrior, moon, and star. But yeah, he fits. Okay. Wait, what about them? The bird has to be on top of the star. And the lines have to join. Wait, why the bird? I thought the dragon does that. Dragon and the moon. More in here. Moon and star. Beast links warrior moon and star. Okay. So beast goes on that other moon. I think. Warrior moon and star. Oh wait. Star lines have to join it up in the moon and that dragon there. He did. Okay, so that's what I'm thinking. This starts on the star. about dragon here. Or up there. star that maybe okay 
okay. Let's try this one. It starts there, no matter what, right? Wait a minute. Bird, Let's go over here for a sec. There we go. <laughs> nice try, Andre Gibby. That was very good and very clever. I, I didn't think of that for a second. Excellent, you have demonstrated your wisdom and passed the test of wits. I hereby present you with proof of your achievement. Proof of wits. There we go, apparently I'm not stupid. Keep your eyes and ears ever open, and the knowledge you gain will serve you well. It's not always brute force that wins today. Often the word is mightier than the deed. I understand. Thank you very much. Using my 2000% brain function to solve that puzzle. <laughs> Uh, that's far, um, far from smart. Or that. Uh, I forgot this voice. Uh, you have passed the first two tests. Not bad. Now we know you're good friends and you're not completely stupid. And we also know my powers of encouragement and support can work miracles. Tidy. Hey, you. You had nothing to do with it. Anyway, Oliver, it's time. The final test. What is it, Master Solomon? Heh. <laughs> Everyone knows that. It's the test of strength, stupid. This is the test of combat ability. You guessed what you have to do, haven't you? We're going to have to fight somebody, huh? Oh, aren't you clever. Now not just anyone, hee <laughs> hee. You're going to ha get your heads beaten in. Oh, but I didn't want him smashing the place up, so I prepared a special place for you to fight in. Anyway, you probably need to rest first because you're so small and weak. I'll be waiting for you, waiting here when you're ready. Yes, Your Honor. Okay. Oh, time to die. <laughs> Now we're at the test of strength. Okay. It's time for the test of strength. Are you wimps ready? Yep. That's what I like to hear. Good luck out there in there. You'll need it. So where does the last trial take place, Master Solomon? In my special secret place. Watch this. trick. Amazing, he conjured a door from out of thin air. You have to go through it to get to where you, we do the test of strength. It's a little place called the Solosseum. Deity, you ready for the final test, Ollie boy? You have to pass it. We just have to. I'm ready. Come on, you guys. <laughs> the 
This is the final trial. This looks a bit flipping serious. Uh, jeepers. <laughs> Whoop, it's time to die. Oliver, <laughs> look. Bashiro, the final test of the Chunpole trials. Okay, well, we're gonna be using Groot because he is fired, so might as well. Blast him with some water. Hopefully, we leveled high enough that we won't be completely bashing our skulls in. Uh -oh. Mind over matter. But we weren't close enough. Is that last attack? He's really bashing him in. Oi, Ali boy, this beastie he by here has got got a big old shield protecting his back, ain't it? Better give him a whacking from the front, I reckon. Let's see what's going to on that thing real quick. Ho! Oh. as it was. Probably heal yourself. Here we go, have one of these. I think we won. Well, Bashira, you're kind of done for. trained for this one. I remember him being ten times harder. <laughs> That's probably because I didn't train. <laughs> oh. Well everyone leveled up. Or all the main characters leveled up so I get full heal out of this. Works for me. Roly poly. Probably not gonna use that. The page describing Bashura. So there's our third boss right there. Huh, you passed the test of strength. Proof of strength. We did it, Oliver. We did it. We sure did. That's the last trial. You passed them all. Oh, I got a graduation present here. Bridge spell. Broom broom spell. I forgot how that works. New spells, thank you very much, Master Solomon. Deity, they look proper useful ones too. Of course they are so stupid. I wouldn't give them rubbish ones, would not would I? Anyway, it's time for the main event. My specialist subject familiars, I'm going to teach you the secret of creature taming. Creature taming? Oh, that sounds interesting. <laughs> you're a bit annoying, but at least you're enthusiastic. Okay, first let's talk about serenading. What's serenading? I'm just about to tell you, aren't I, stupid? It's something you can't do without a spell, special instrument for a start. An instrument? So that means... Yep, believe it to me, Oliver. I better give you both, give you it before we carry on, Umbapa. Master. Hmm. 
You harp. <laughs> Master. Here, take this. It's called the heart's winning harp. <laughs> wow, it's beautiful. Harp. It's not just beautiful, it's, it's useful too. You can play the tame creatures and make them your familiars. It's probably easier to show you than explain you're quite slow after all. I prepared three creatures for you to tame. Pick one and you'll look like the look you like the look of yes your honor you can tame creatures during battles try it out, it out with these ones don't look so scared they're just, they're my pets they won't attack you <laughs> wimps but how do I tame them well everyone every now and again when you beat a creature it will be so impressed it will fall in love with you that happens, yucky hearts will appear above its head like this. Hehe. <laughs> oh, that's sweet. Ugh. Anyway, when you you see these hearts, it's no it's time for you to play a serenade. If you manage to not mess it up, the creature becomes tame and joins you as one of your familiars. That seems simple enough. It doesn't matter who beats a creature, it can still go all gooey and girly and lovey dovey. But the only one that can tame it is you, Ape Esther. So if we want to tame a creature, to, or want a creature to join us, Esther has to play us the song. I just said that, didn't I? Stop asking stupid questions and give it a try. Yes, Your Honor. But which one shall we pick? Why do we have to flip and pick? Can't we give us? You give us the whole lot of them. The stingy old so and so. What's the matter, spoil for choice? Well, when you've finished moaning and groaning, just let me know which one you want me to give you completely for free. What's this one? Eep, eep. This is a cute creature. It's called a Niad. So there. It's not very good at normal attacks, but it's got some decent magical ones, and it's a great healer, so it's helpful to have around. You should definitely choose that one over the other two. They're rubbish. What's this one? Boo. <laughs> this one's called a Bogley Boo. It has, has a stupid name, but it can scare the pants off people even worse than me. It packs a hefty punch and can learn some pretty na tasty, nasty tricks too. <laughs> you should definitely choose this one over the other two. They're rubbish. Buddha Buddha Ba. Pa. Part. That stupid looking one is called a Shonky Honker. It's got good defense and magical attack. And it can put enemies to sleep as well. It's a bit of an all arounder, I suppose. You should definitely choose this one over the other two. They're rubbish. Okay. Let's look at what we do have right at the moment. Can she use? I kind of want to try this guy. Hey. Okay. I want to try the my head. Have you chosen which one you want to be your new familiar yet? Yes. Ready? You might as well do it the same way as you do when you tame a creature in a normal battle. In case you've forgotten, that means you have to beat the creature up and then get Esther to play it a serenade of on her harp. And, you don't, and don't let your pants, I've told them not to attack you so you wimps don't get scared and run away. Now to the battlefield. Lagoon Nyad. Well, we know where to get a Boggleyboo, so... I don't. I haven't seen the, the other two. So, oh, I didn't read that last part. You're the only one who can use that harp. You better try it out, hadn't you? 
Right, listen, these three creatures here, you have to pick one of to be your familiar. You know how to tame a creature, don't you? First, you have to beat it in battle. These ones are friends of mine, so I've told them not to fight you when you bash them. Well, come on, beat up the creature that you want to be your new best friend. Look at that, it's up on its feet again. Creatures do that sometimes when you can beat when you beat them in battles. See that yucky pink heart that's over its head? That means you can tame it. If Esther is near a creature with hearts over it, she can use her heart command. Then she can choose whether to play a serenade to tame it or let it go back into the wild. But if you don't choose quickly, it'll run off anyway. I told these creatures these ones to not run away because you're beginners and you're probably rubbish. Are you ready? There we go. You tame the lagoon I had. Hmm. There we go. We got our first familiar. did it, we shamed a creature. Heh, <laughs> not bad for your first try, I suppose. Like I said, anyone can beat a creature, but Esther has to play the song to tame it. So you'll have to work together if you want to get more familiars. I know it's hard for selfish brats like you, but you'll ha just have to try it. Yes, Master Solomon, we understand. Neato, huh, Esther? Okay, sorry about that cut. Someone didn't read the sign on my door and decided to be as loud as possible. Sorry about that. Oh, and you can have three more familiars as well and the ones that you use in battle. Tidy, but what happens if we get all overexcited and tame more familiars than we got room for? Then you'll have to speak to my little friend of mine. Look over there for a second. What a funny looking thing. Is he a familiar too? Don't be stupid. That's just the rep from the familiar retreat. I'll take any familiars you don't need off your hands and keep them safe back at the retreat. Oh, there's useful. Looks like we'll have to keep be busy. Keep being busy then, eh, yes, sir? I'm looking forward to it. I can't wait to see what kinds of creatures there are out there to tame. You can find the familiar retreat holes in every town you visit, and even in the some dangerous places, too. I think I've seen some in places we've been already. Hang on, look. Your familiar is ready to metamorphose. Meta what? Bli blimey. I have to teach you about that as well, do I? You don't know anything. Fine, I'll teach you about metamorphosis, too. Give me a break first, will you? Explaining this is going to give me a face ache. star and sun. That's weird. Okay. Right. It's time to teach you 
about metamorphosis. This is boring, so listen carefully, I'm not explaining it again. If you look, you can see you're familiar once to metamorphosis. And for that one, you'll need one of these here. You obtained a sun drop. Is this some kind of treat? That's not just any old treat. Look, just try it, will you? I'm bored of talking. Give it to your mite you've got there. Feed it to him in the creature cage, you mean? Okay, here goes. Okay. Ray of light. Wait, I can still learn stuff? Wait a minute, it says I still can learn stuff. Oh. Uh, there's no going back, so. Time to turn into a mighty mite. Little spook metamorphosized into mighty mite. The number of different tricks a little spook can perform in battle has increased by one. Neato, look at my familiar. That's metamorphosis. When you when a familiar gets big enough, you can feed it special treats to make it change into a new version. Metamorphosis, got it. When familiars metamorphosize, they get stronger and look different and learn better tricks. They also get get to gobble up more gems, meaning you teach them even more tricks. The treat you, you just fed to that familiar makes it metamorphosize. Depending on the sign, something you never would have worked out on your own. Oh, and here's another piece of priceless wisdom you don't, you don't deserve. When familiars metamorphosize, they go back to level one. But that doesn't mean you're bringing them back to square one. Once you train them, they'll be much more powerful than they were before. Whether you metamorphosize your familiars or not is up to you. Some idiots prefer to stick with what they got. Do what you want. I don't care. No, you don't need anything else explaining, do you? You're fine with that, what I've told you, right? Yes, Master Solomon. Good, I hate explaining all that stuff. Anyway, if you want to hear all that boring details, again, you just ask the boring old telling stone you got there. Did somebody say my name? Eek. It is his supremacy he says I can replicate his explanations in a minute detail at any time you choose. You need to only ask and... Boring, ugh, you haven't changed. Anyway, now you know how it all works. You can get out get there and tame loads of familiars and make them metamorphosize. Thank you very much, your honor. To your suprematude. Right, where to next, then? Can we go back to Alma Moon quickly? I want to see how my father is getting up. Sure, we can ask about the other great sages, too. Goodbye, Master Solomon. Thank you for everything. But don't mention it. I mean it. Shut up and get lost. Boys and girls, I just want to take a second and say uh, I have to go and check out my friends' channels on the channel section on my page. And one of them will be on the ending of this uh, video, on the ending card. Please go check them out. They're all pretty cool people. Okay. See y'all later. Have a great day. Peace out and keep being spooky.